Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. Doesn't it seem like whenever you have shrimp at a party, people just make a beeline for it. I mean, whether it's shrimp cocktail or shrimp tempura or shrimp bisque or barbecued shrimp or shrimp ceviche or shrimp cakes or shrimp egg rolls or shrimp scampi or, or popcorn shrimp or, or shrimp fondue or shrimp nachos or shrimp dumplings or shrimp ramaki or shrimp kebabs or shrimp wontons or coconut shrimp or shrimp crostini or shrimp toast or shrimp dimp or shrimp on the barbie or curried shrimp, Cajun shrimp, sweet and sour shrimp, uh, shrimp pot stickers. Well, anyway, I have a shrimp appetizer that will draw people like flies to a no pest strip. using artichokes you're either making the whole artichoke or artichoke hearts are so popular in so many things I happen to love artichoke bottoms they come in a can there's usually about six in a can and so this is going to make the little dish for our shrimp so I have three cans that I'm going to Put in a strainer and just rinse them off. Then I'm going to lay them out on a baking sheet. Look at how cute those little dishes are. And they're nice and mild flavored. Step two. I'm going to melt a little bit of butter, a couple tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to cook about a pound's worth of medium to medium large shrimp. And of course the great thing about shrimp is it takes very little time to cook. The only thing I'm going to add to this is a little sprinkling of salt and pepper. These are done. Only took a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to turn it off, let it sit there while I do the next step. Anyway, I'm going to make a uh, remoulade sauce, which is nothing more than a fancy French mayonnaise. So I'm going to start with three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to add lots of garlic five cloves of minced garlic. Then one tablespoon heaping of brown mustard, a medium tomato that I diced, and this is flat leaf parsley, about a quarter of a cup. Just mix all that together, and that's your roumelade sauce. Now, in each one of these artichoke bottoms, I'm going to put a little spoonful of the sauce. And the leftover remoulade, mix a can of tuna into this. It will be delicious. And then you place a shrimp. Look at how perfectly that fits. You place a shrimp on top of each one. Two more small steps. 
I like to brighten things up with a little bit of lemon juice. I mean, shrimp and lemon, you know. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little lemon juice, half a lemon, over the top. And Parmesan cheese. I like to use shaved Parmesan. And when the Parmesan melts, it actually kind of holds everything together. One more. And now I'm going to pop these under the broiler for just a minute, just until the cheese melts. And they are done. cheese is melted. So now, put them on a serving platter. And then, a little pinch of paprika on the top. Voila! This is best served at room temperature. All you need is napkins. You don't need any silverware. Let's take a bite. What an elegant hors d'oeuvre. And you saw how easy it was to make. Any idiot could do this. Even you.